Folks in Mobile not the only ones having fun tonight. Oh no, Apollo's Mystic Ladies bringing the boom boom to the eastern shore. That's where we're going to find Fox 10 News Lee Peck. And Lee, you rode in the parade tonight, but you had some help with you too, right? I did have some help, Byron and Shelby, and believe it or not, all those floats that were in the parade, they were just behind us moments ago, uh, and right as you guys were tossing to us, they, they rode off, but we had our Fox 10 float out here, and like you said, I was not alone. Lanisa gone, of course, taking a selfie of us all. Lanisa was on the float, Hal Sherrick, Brendan Kirby, myself, and of course, Tyler Finger. We all rode the float tonight representing Fox 10 News, and let me tell you, the parade goers, they were ready for some throws. Take a listen. It was great. The ladies did a great job. Yeah. And it was amazing because the crowd was like, wow, so many more people than there were two years ago when I came. So it was it was great. Yeah. They were throwing a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I was so happy to see my sister back up on the floats. Yeah. And there was a lot of good stuff as well. Yeah. And a good crowd out here tonight, despite the, the chilly forecast. A lot of people just ready to be back out here, having a good time. That's the general consensus from a lot of the parade goers we talked to. And if we can come back out here to me, the celebration not over here on the Eastern Shore tonight. The Apollo Mystic Ladies having their ball inside the Daphne Civic Center. They are celebrating tonight of a return to Mardi Gras, a night they won't soon forget. Uh, again, we had a good time on the Fox 10 float and uh, we look forward to more parades live tonight on the Eastern Shore. Lee Pack, Fox 10 News.